Hi everyone, in this video we will be going over A level accounting 2023, May June, paper 2 3, question number 2. So, this is paper 2 which consists of 4 questions. Two of them will be of 30 marks and two of them will be of 15 marks. And the total time limit for this paper is 1 hour and 45 minutes. Since question number 2 is of 15 marks, ideally you should be spending about 17 and a half minutes in order to solve this question. And in this video as well, we'll be attempting to solve this question under 17 and a half minutes. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Veda owns a retail business. Her accountant advised her to prepare a trial balance. So for the first part of this question, we just need to see two benefits of preparing a trial balance. So preparing a trial balance provides a check on arithmetical accuracy of double entry because we require our debit side to be equal to that of the credit side while preparing a trial balance. Let's write it down. Provides a check on arithmetical accuracy of double entry the next benefit of preparing a trial balance is that it provides a source of information for preparing financial statements because if you notice in your questions as well most of the times you'll be given trial balance and additional information from which you will be asked to prepare statement of profit or loss or statement of financial position provides a source of information for preparing financial statements. That's all for the first part of this question. Let's move towards the next one. We're given additional information. First of all, let's have a look at our second question. We need to prepare journal entries to correct each of the above errors and dates and narratives are not required. Okay. So on 31st March 2023, Veda prepared a trial balance but the totals did not agree. The debit column totaled 84,050 and the credit column totaled 83,350. So clearly, our trial balance is incorrect. And the difference was posted to a suspense account. Let's figure out the difference first. Or this difference is also going to act as our opening balance of the suspense account. So that's going to be 84,050 minus 83,350. And this results in our difference to be 700. Okay, and remember that in this case, the debit column has a greater value than the credit column. So we'll be uh, substituting the 700 into the credit side of our trial balance. All right, now the following errors were identified and corrected after which the trial balance totals agreed. A payment of 740 to Opal stores was recorded in the account of Opal Wholesale. So the receiver in this case is Opal stores. And remember that in case of journal, we always record the receiver in the debit side. So the correct entry should have been Opal stores to bank. But in this case, it was recorded in the account of Opal Wholesale, which means that we entered this transaction as Opal Wholesale Debit and Bank Credit. But this is incorrect, right? Because we would require Opal Stores to be on the debit side, but we actually put Opal Wholesale on the debit side. Now, in order to correct this, we'll have to enter the correct customer on our debit side. So that's going to be Opal Stores on the debit side. Now, we need to remove Opal Wholesale from the debit side, which means that we just need to record Opal Wholesale now on the credit side. Because remember that essentially debit and credit will cancel each other out. And we need to record the amount of 740. So the correction of the first error is just going to be Opal stores on the debit side because this was the actual receiver and Opal wholesale on the credit side because we previously entered Opal wholesale as um, the receiver in the debit side. So we just need to rectify that error. Okay, that's all for the first one. Now, sales returns of 340 from Kali had been correctly recorded in the sales returns journal, but 430 had been posted to the debit side of Kali's account. So the correct journal for this would have been sales returns debit to Kali credit. And the correct NG would have been 340. And we were told that it had been correctly recorded in the sales returns journal. So we do not have to worry about the debit side. 
Now, 430 had been posted to the debit side of Kali's account. Remember that Kali should be on the credit side in this case. So instead of putting 340 on the credit side, we actually put 430 on the debit side. And we require 340 on the credit side. So first of all, we would need to rectify this error in our debit side. So we just need to enter the same amount on the credit side so that it cancels with the one in the debit side. Then we need to enter the correct amount of the sales returns because it was 340. Which means that in total, we need to record 430 plus 340, which gives 770 on the credit side under the heading of Kali, right? Because he is the giver in this case. And now since sales returns was correctly entered on the debit side, the account that we need to put on the debit side would be our suspense account. Because this uh, error in the entry for the amount of 430 as well as the error by putting that amount on the debit side instead of the credit side has resulted this difference of 700 in our trial balance. So we will be utilizing our suspense account in this case. So the correction is just going to be suspense on the debit side and remember the total we calculated it to be 770 and on the credit side it should be Kali. That's all for the second error. Now for the third one the discount columns in the cash book had not been posted to the general ledger and the discounts allowed total 530 and discounts received total 370. So what this means is that if we did not post the discount columns to the general ledger it means that we did not put discount in our trial balance and since we did not put any of the discounts allowed or discounts received in the trial balance it also resulted in this difference of 700 so again in this case we will be uh, writing down suspense account so the correct entry for discounts allowed remember that it is an expense so we would need to record 530 on the debit side and discounts received is an income so we would need to record 370 on the credit side in our journal now we have 530 on the debit side, but in the credit side, we only have 370. And remember that in journal, each of our debit and credit side should be equal. So for our credit side to be 530, the difference here is just 530 minus 370, which is 160. So now this 160, we need to write it down under the heading of suspense account because the difference is being created due to the fact that we did not post any of the discounts in our trial balance, which allowed for the difference of 700, which we now rectify by creating a suspense account. All right, let's correct this. So on the debit side, we have discounts allowed of 530. On the credit side, we have discounts received. And that's of 370 and now we need to record the difference in our suspense account which was of 160 that's all for the third error now for the fourth one a check for 560 received from W limited had been dishonored and the dishonored check was entered correctly in the cash book but had been posted as 650 to the customers account so in this case remember that the check is being dishonored so the receipt for this check the journal entry for this receipt would have been bank because we received 560 and we received it from W Limited, which is a giver in this case. So it would have been on the credit side as 560. Now we're told that the check had been dishonored. So the uh, journal for this dishonored would just be to reverse this uh, transaction, right? Because we actually did not receive 560 in our bank account. So in order to rectify this, we just put bank on our credit side so that it cancels out with the one on the debit side. Then we put W limited on the debit side. So the correct amount for W limited would have been 560, but it had been posted as 650 to the customer's account. So instead of writing down 560, we actually wrote down 650. Now it has an excess of 650 minus 560 which is 90. So we have extra 90 on the debit side. Now in order to cancel this, we just have to put W limited on the credit side as 90. And this extra 90 would go towards the suspense account on the debit side. So the correction for error four is just going to be suspense on our debit side with 90 and W limited on the credit side with 90. That's all for the fourth error as well as the second part of this question. Now for the third one, we need to prepare the suspense account at 31st March 2023 and the dates are not required. So we first start with the difference 
that resulted in the suspense account, which we have already figured out to be 700. And in the trial balance itself, we put suspense account on the credit side because remember that our credit side has a lower balance compared to the debit side, which means that for our suspense account as well, the opening balance will be on the credit side with the value of the difference, which is 700. So that will be 700 as our opening balance. Since we've already created journals, we just need to post those transactions with suspense account in it. So for the first one, we do not have suspense account, so we don't need to record it. For the second one, we have suspense account on the debit side, which means that in the suspense accounts ledger, we would have to put Kali with the amount 770 on the debit side itself, because the suspense account in this journal is on the debit side. So that will be Kali with 770. Now we just repeat the same process. For this one, we have discounts allowed on the debit side. And the suspense account is on the credit side, which means that we need to record discounts allowed on the credit side with the amount of 530. So that will be discounts allowed of 530. But for discounts received, we will record it on the debit side with the amount 370. So that will be 370 discounts received. Now for the fourth error, we have suspense account on the debit side, which means that we need to record W limited with the amount 90 on the debit side itself. So that will be 90 W limited. Now, since we already have the opening balance, we do not have any balancing figure in this case and the total on both sides should be equal so for debit one it's 770 plus 370 plus 90 which is also in 1230 and for the credit side that's 700 plus 530 which again results in 1230 so that's all for the third part of this question let's move towards the fourth one we need to define the term error of principle so error of principle occurs when the correct amount is entered on the credit side but in the wrong class of accounts let's write it down Error of principle occurs when the correct amount is entered on the correct side but in the wrong class of account. That's all for the fourth part of this question as well as the entire question. If you found this video useful, make sure you like the video and leave a comment below. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of these videos in the future. Thank you.